G'day guys, X-Ray Racer 1 here with another locomotive review. This locomotive review will be on the Microtrain's EMD SW9 switcher locomotive. This is a uh, locomotive I came across on eBay. Um, it was, uh, as I was going through eBay, scrolling through the listings I uh, came across a hobby shop uh, in Australia that uh, operates on eBay uh, they have an actual shop it's uh, located in Western Australia um, and uh, I noticed came across this locomotive and um, yeah I thought well I, I've got a few uh, micro trains, uh, rolling stock, box cars, and so forth, and I came across uh, this listing for this locomotive. It is micro trains. It is a DC locomotive, and as you can see, it's uh, it's not. It doesn't have um, it. It's not a railroad company, as you can see. It has uh, U.S. Army, so. Something completely different uh, from what I usually have, and I saw it and I thought, yeah, why not? Now, um, I was a little unsure about this locomotive uh, because they had a few other. Um, this eBay uh, hobby shop had a few other uh, SW9 uh, locomotives, um, and they were lifelike, made by lifelike, and. They look very similar, but however, I noticed in the listing the uh, detail was, uh, as you could say, a lot better than the lifelike ones. And I had a feeling is it just, you know, a, a rebranded lifelike um, locomotive? Well, it was half true. Um, so, what we'll do is we'll have it, we'll open it up. So, before I get ahead of myself, uh, that is, I'm pretty sure, yes, that is the uh, part number right there. And so, we'll open it up. Just give me a sec. Just wait for it to camera to focus so yeah as you can see it is by microtrains and it is it has no uh, uh, railroad company it is US Army I do believe uh, microtrains do have a US Army rolling stock set that you can get I might I might have a uh, little look for it later uh, comes with the micro trains knuckle couplers. I actually quite like them. Um, I find them compared to, like, say, the Kato um, couplers and the Atlas ones. I, I find these ones are just a little bit better. That's just my personal opinion. Um, as you can see, it's got pretty good detail. I'm trying to get the camera to focus. It's having a hard time focusing but uh, as you can see it's got rail the railings very nicely detailed and uh, it's actually for what it is it's actually quite light compared to other locomotives of this size um, I even have a, a Barkman Plymouth switcher that's probably a little bit smaller in length and it feels heavier than this but Anyway, um, but if we have a look uh, here closely, you can see there it says lifelike on the uh, underneath here. So what I found, I did a little research. What it is is micro trains uh, make their own shell, but they use a lifelike um, chassis or mechanism 
for the purists out there. It's a uh, so I'm assuming because what I did is I went on the Microtrains website and typed in uh, the U.S. Army uh, SW9 locomotive in their search uh, in the search bar, and uh, actually it would I would it would appear that this particular one is either relatively new or it's a rare one it is brand new I um, I should point out this is a brand new locomotive it's not second hand but um, they do have a US Army one but the colors are completely different and, it, and there's more colors to it it's just not like a plain gray but um, yeah, so I did a, had a little bit of a look, and on their website you can actually get uh, the lifelike chassis system. And so, um, yeah, so that's that's my theory, and I'm sticking to it. It's a lifelike chassis with the microtrains shell on top. But um, yeah, it looks it looks pretty good. I I, I like the detail. Obviously being US Army uh, there's not a lot of colors on it it's very plain but in saying that it's uh, looks pretty looks pretty sweet so will this uh, will be part a part B what we will do is we'll go over to my layout and we will give it a run stay tuned guys <laughs>